Hey everyone, I uh, hope you're all doing well. I'm going to do a video here where I sit down and just talk about what's happening, what's going on um, with the Scout lineup, with pre-orders, new products, um, old products coming back, um, social media, stuff like that. Um, I don't do a ton of videos. Uh, video content isn't my favorite to create because I feel like I'm not great at it. So um, bear with me and... Uh, um, I'm hopefully I'll grow and get better at it. Uh, don't expect any fancy dancing TikToks or comedy skits because uh, that's not going to happen. Um, but I, I do want to try to grow and, and become better. Um, I don't say you're going to see a lot of B-roll here, but uh, I just want to create a space where I can sit down and, and chat and talk about things. Um, we we do have a newsletter if you're not signed up for the newsletter feel free to go over and to the website and sign up for it the newsletter we just use that to announce what's happening um with new products like i'll i'll reveal products through a newsletter or announce a drop through a newsletter sometimes i want to write more and talk about what's happening but uh, i don't want the newsletter to get too long where people aren't reading it so i thought this would be a neat um, space to sit down and uh, kind of just ramble about things so uh, bear with me as I figure out uh, what I'm doing um, like I said videos new to me um, I bought a, a overhead uh, desk setup like a rig um, just something cheap off Amazon and some lights microphone uh, video camera and uh, yeah, just going to try to figure this out. So if you guys know what you're doing and you want to give me some tips, uh, please feel free to comment. Give me some pointers. Let me know uh, what I can do to improve. And uh, yeah, I, I think that's about it. Um, I got a, it's early morning here, so my voice might sound a little bit off. I'm just getting over um, a cold and I got a window beside me that's creating a bit of a shadow, but Hopefully the quality is good enough that you want to stick around and uh, hear what I got to say. Um, so for the Scout lineup, we just received the F2 and F3.5s. Uh, those came in. Um, we were, I thought we were going to be ahead of schedule, but we're, we're just on schedule. Um, planning on shipping these out in the next week or so. We're QCing them. We're also packing up all the little baggies with the uh, extra hardware. That was one thing I wanted to do. I really wanted to offer um, an extra set of hardware with each folding knife because uh, I know you guys want to maintain them. You want to take them apart and clean them and do things. So um, this way, if you stri uh, strip a screw or you, you lose a washer or bearing or something like that, you'll have a full extra set of hardware so that you can um, you don't have to stress about, oh, I stripped a screw and now I got to order one. Um, years ago, I had to do that. It was uh, quite a while ago, but it ended up costing me $20 US for one single screw uh, to get it shipped up here to Canada, and it was annoying. So I thought, you know what, people all over the world are um, they're buying this stuff, so why not include it? It's something we can do, so I'm, I'm glad we can uh, offer that. So um, we're packing up the screws, we're QCing the knives, we will be shipping out the pre-orders in the next uh, week and a half. Retailers' orders will be going out as well, and once all of that is done, we will do a drop. So um, we have extras of the F2 and F3.5 that will be going on the site now. Now, the whole point of doing a pre-order, I know a lot of people are like, well, if they're available now, why pre-order? Um, for me, the pre-order um, helps me gauge um, how many I need, what materials, what finishes, what's popular. And, um, you know, I treat a pre-order like a Kickstarter. So um, we do like a $20, $25 discount. Um, it's not a ton, but um, it's you know, our thank you to you guys for uh, trusting us and supporting us and helping us out with the project. Um, after um, pre-orders go out, like I said, there there will be um, lots to pick from. Um, but if you did pre-order, you're guaranteed to get what you ordered. So that's, that's another pro about the pre-order. Um, <clears throat> what we're trying to do here now is, um, I'm just trying to show uh, transparency and stuff, but what we're trying to do is we're trying to tighten things up so there's not as big of gaps 
um, between the knife runs. I know it can be frustrating. Um, we've only been doing knives for just two years now. We started with the um, Scout 2.5 and it's really popular. And I'm getting a ton of back in uh, stock notifications um, on both the 2.5 and the Medic. And um, so we're trying to tighten things up so that we're getting knives in closer together so there's not big delays because i know that can be frustrating um it's a lot of money out initially and um we're just a small family business husband wife just me my wife and uh my two daughters so um things with the growth and uh growing the line and coming out with new knives um it's a lot of money out so i'm super excited to announce that we have two new knives in the works. Um, I've had the prototypes for a bit now. I've been carrying them. I'm in love with them. They're amazing. I'm truly, truly happy with the quality that Best Tech has done. And I'm really, really happy with the design. So um, we have moved forward. Manufacturing on those has started, but I have not released any information about the knives because that's where I do want to get to. Um, I'm hoping we can do more stuff like that, that um, when we release these uh, two new models, it'll be, here you go, this is what they are, this is the specs, um, I'll do videos and, and social media stuff with them, and then they'll be um, available immediately to buy, no pre-order, no three month waiting. Um, it's uh, somewhere where I want to get to, and I'm super excited that we can get to, or we've gotten to that point with these two new uh, designs that I've done. So the two new designs, one will be a small EDC fixed blade. Um, design language, I hope you see the design language. Um, it, uh, it resembles the uh, 2.5 but then it doesn't, it's uh, not a chunky knife. The, uh, the Scout lineup is a chunky lineup. Um, got a tall blade. The new lineup is sleek, it's slim, um, super slicey, very pointy drop point, very pokey pointy drop point. Um, the hollow ground magna cut blade, it's gonna be super slicey. And um, so, there's similarities, but differences as well. Um, the handle to blade ratio on the new one um, is closer to 50-50 than the 2.5, but trust me, it's gonna be a great EDC fixed blade. It fits in the pocket. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I hope you guys like the new lineup. We don't have a name for it yet. I, I have a name that I'm sitting on. Um, I think I'm gonna pull the trigger on that one so stay tuned for that the plan for the new line is to um, release it late spring um, we are planning to go to blade show I kind of sat on that a little bit too long too so we are having a hard time securing a table but if we get a table um, we will be there and we will be selling knives we'll have um, beads and other gear as well um, so if we can secure a table, the plan is to reveal the new lineup at Blade Show and fingers crossed they'll be available at Blade Show and once we get home, they'll be available to ship um, right away as well. Um, if we don't secure a table, we're planning on still going and I will have the knives with me to show off, but um, I won't be um, obviously selling them there if I don't have a table um, but they'll be available to order once we get back so I'm I'm super excited for that that's uh, a, a place where I want to get to that we can come up with new designs new models and uh, you know no leg time no like hey check out this new knife uh, we'll have it available in six months I, I don't want to do that I want to get to a point where hey check out this knife it's going on sale this Friday like that's uh, that's our goal anyways uh, fingers crossed we can get there with everything so thanks for listening about that um, <clears throat> I think that covers that so that's why these two are delayed um, once the manufacturing is, is well underway for the two new knives, then I'll be ordering more of these. So like I said, try to tighten things up. So, um, packaging wise, um, a lot of you have probably seen this. This is the box that the 2.5 comes in and the, uh, F 
sorry, F3 and F3.5. Um, branded box with a padded pouch, um, Velcro patch and cleaning cloth. <clears throat> This is the new box for the F2. The F2's tiny, so we've got a small box, and I'm excited to tell you that it comes with this little, little baggie. It's got a soft material on the inside, nothing crazy. That's not the exciting part. The exciting part is instead of getting a large um, patch, you will be getting a set of REs. We're going to include these uh, PVC REs. So, yeah, I'm excited for that. I think that's it for that. Um, we did a driver drop last night. MK2s were um, there on the website. A uh, good portion of them have sold out, but uh, there's still some on there. We upgraded the packaging. Um, we did a little video. Um, it should be the last video. Shows off the packaging. Um, the drivers don't come in the tin anymore. They come in a branded box with a padded pouch, a Velcro patch, and a cleaning cloth. So we're just trying to, um, you know, add more value to the packaging for you guys. So um, that's it for the Scout lineup. Um, in other news, I don't want this video to go crazy long, but I did want to um, share a bunch of things. So, um, the new fixed blade, another thing that I'm really excited to talk about is the new fixed blade will come with a Kydex sheath. Um, it'll come with a swivel belt loop and a black ball chain so you can neck carry it. Um, another piece of gear that it's going to come with is this um, black ITP clip. So this is a cool little clip um, from Brendan Milliker. He's the uh, owner and operator of BM Knife and Tool. Uh, check him out on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, Brendan and I have become uh, good buddies through uh, social media and texting. Um, he's a couple provinces over and we haven't met, but uh, him and I go back and forth uh, daily. And uh, I'm super excited to let you know that this pocket clip will be, uh, it'll be included with the new fixed blade. So multiple ways to carry the new fixed blade. And this is a killer, killer design that he has done. He He's uh, engineered this himself. He's uh, 3D printed them. They are 3D printed, but they are strong. Uh, I forget the name of the filament that he's using, but um, part of the design, the way it's printed and the filament he's using makes it really tough. Um, I've been using these for the last year or so. Um, you can buy them on his website if you have other fixed blades um, and you want one of these, check them out. I think they're $13 US on his website. Um, and uh, yeah. Um, he, he makes some really cool knives too. He's got a whole fixed blade lineup. He does handmade custom fixed blades. Um, he's made some um, uh, axes and stuff and uh, uh, he has a whole production line too. So make sure you check him out. He's a, he's a great guy and I'm super excited that uh, he's uh, agreed to manufacture these for us. Um, yeah. So that's exciting news. You'll be able to pocket carry your Kydex sheath. It'll come with a taco style Kydex sheath and this will secure the sheath in your pocket. You'll be able to pull your fixed blade out and it's not going anywhere. He's designed it so it's got this little uh, reverse grab. It'll grab the material on your jeans or your pants and uh, the, the sheath is not coming out. So again, Thanks so much, Brendan, for um, you know being a friend and um, a mentor and and doing this for me. I, I truly appreciate it. So excited about that. <clears throat> um, I think lastly, or maybe lastly, we'll see. Um, the new Phoenix beads will be available soon. Uh, part of this whole new video thing for me is I want to do a video for the Phoenix beads, something that I can. Um, put on the website a tutorial how to mount the bead. Um, it's not brain surgery, but it is a little bit finicky. Um, the reason being is the original Phoenix bead wasn't a huge bead. Um, it's just a small standard one piece bead. Um, the reason why it's called the Phoenix is because this is kind of replicates a uh, bird cage. So um, this is kind of the cage that holds the beast. Um, 
we did this this is a standard version and when we came out with this all the business cards all the cards of authenticity had a checkbox that said standard or modular because the modular has been in the in the works that long it's taken a while to figure out um it's not complicated in a way of how it works it's complicated in the way of how much um paracord you can fit inside this thing um there are other makers that are doing beads like this it's not new the first one i seen with the a screw that locked the paracord in was probably like four years ago i think lion steel does one there's another guy that does pens and bottle openers and knives and stuff he's got one that was probably the first one i seen four or five years ago i think it's a great design more people are doing them so i thought that i would come out with our own version i joke around and say our new no not technology it's uh it's not new it's just new to us um so you got a single piece bead and then the modular one is a four piece bead so um, you're going to be able to mix and match materials. You're going to be able to have uh, different inserts. So this is the main body part. Um, inside here, uh, the paracord will be uh, tucked in. You'll cut it nice clean cut and the end, uh, ends of the paracord will have to be melted. But it's a little bit finicky. It has to be melted in such a way that uh, it can fit because that's such a small cavity. So um, that's why I wanna do the uh, tutorial. Um, once you put your uh, cord in and stuff, and this is uh, mounted the way you want it, you can put your insert in. These will be available in titanium and brass um, and different finishes. And we will also have turbo glow. We'll have a ton of turbo glow options. So it'll be pretty neat. I have not seen a bead like this yet where um, you have uh, glowing inside moving parts plus uh, no knot technology. Um, and then obviously this little pin is what locks the paracord in. Now the trick with this is that cavity is so small that you can't melt the ends of the paracord where there's a big blob on it. And that's what makes it a little bit finicky. So I'm gonna do a video, show you how to cut it, how to melt it. And then um, on the bottom here, you have a uh, T10 um, Torx screw. And uh, yeah, you tighten that up with your Torx bit driver and it's not going anywhere, it's, it's locked on. Now, I personally like doing my um, lanyards short, so you can do it short and I'll show that in the video. Um, I don't like big, um, you know, lanyards hanging down the side of my knife. I just want that little bit of uh, purchase to grab uh, when you're um, grabbing the knife from your pocket or whatever. So a little bling bling for your blade. Um, I got the autofocus on the camera off just because it was doing some um, focus hunting. So I can't do any super close ups at the moment. But uh, yeah, we have these in Zerk. Um, here's a black polished zerk. Here's a um, oil slick with a anodized tie sleeve insert. And then this one here is satin brass with a polished tie. So there's going to be lots of materials, lots of turbo glows. I'm excited for the new Phoenix bead. I'm excited for the new knives. Other than that, there's not a ton else to talk about. Um, like I said, I would love for you guys to subscribe. I would love your feedback. Let me know what I can do better. Um, I got to practice with the camera. Um, I want to do uh, some close-up macro um, videos and stuff like that too. So just need some practice. So please bear with me. Um, yeah, other than that, I don't have any new gear. I've been uh, focusing on buying cameras and microphones and lights and Actually got two new cameras recently. Um, one, the video camera that's overhead. Two, um, I treated myself to uh, this um, hyped up. I'm not a fan of hype, so um, I bought into this. Um, it's a hyped up camera. Um, it's on TikTok everywhere. Everyone's raving about the Fuji. I've always used Canons and um, I grabbed this Fuji and I'm in love with it. I totally understand the hype. This is a fun camera. I love the retro look. I love the build quality. Um, 
it's small you can throw it in your coat pocket and uh, i've just been having a lot of fun um, getting accessories for it and uh, taking pictures i want to bring it everywhere i go um, just i'm no photographer i just um, i stumble along and learn as i go and um, yeah i'm having fun with it anyways so this is new to me um, anything else new i got a new uh, new coffee mug i've been enjoying um, back in the day, I used to show off all my new knives and stuff. I haven't been buying knives now that I have my own line. So, um, another thing that's new, I'll give a shout out to, um, Soul Built. Um, they make these titanium Sharpies. It's an absolute killer product. Um, I carried a Sharpie in my pocket for five days a week for probably 22 years. And I wish I had this for the last 22 years. It's an overbuilt Sharpie. And, and yes, a lot of people are going to say, like, who needs a $120 Sharpie? Um, it's, it's killer. If you use a Sharpie all the time, this is cool. And they did a great job. The build quality is great. The fit and finish is great. It has a bolt action uh, clip on it. I'm not a fan of bolt action pens. So um, for me, um, a screw cap or a click mechanism, um, but you can't take away. This is cool. I love it. It's uh, the bolt action's neat. It's just not for me when it comes to a pen. I actually enjoy this pocket clip bolt action um better than a regular uh bolt action but uh if you like the bolt actions you got to check them out it's a retractable sharpie um internally it has a um a, a click um they have click sharpies so a sharpie that you can uh retract um it has the insert so when it goes inside it actually closes itself up so it won't dry out um as fast as you think it would but this is a neat product um Shout out to them. Thanks for sending it over to me, guys. I appreciate it. And uh, I know they're going to be doing a Kickstarter soon. Soon They got a, um, a pen insert that goes in here. So uh, check them out. Um, while I talk about pens, we are working on pens now. I'm hoping to have them available in the next month or so. Um, we're bringing back the V3 screw cap pen, but it'll be the V4. It'll be the fourth version. We're changing the pocket clip. The pen staying the same, it'll be identical, but it'll have a milled titanium pocket clip with titanium screws uh, fastening the, the clip to the side. And before that comes out, we're gonna be releasing a new mini click pen. So we have a click pen. We haven't dropped them for a couple years, but same design, but um, new pocket clip we'll have a, a milled titanium pocket clip on that with titanium screws and super excited to announce that it's going to have a titanium click mechanism so the pen's going to be 100 percent uh, canadian made and uh, with uh, all full titanium so it's pretty cool excited for that so we'll have a mini version of that we'll have screw cap pens we'll have the full size click pen coming at some point i have a mechanical pencil design in the works and um yeah lots of things coming up so stay tuned please once again um you know hit the subscribe button so i can do more of this stuff let me know what i can do to make it better um thanks a lot for listening um that's it thanks folks take care have a great one cheers see you on the next one